You know, sisters and brothers, when we talk about elections, November 6th is not the only election day. The next election day and the most important election day for many, many people in this audience is next Tuesday when it comes to voting right. for your budget. And I will be the first to say that you have a very hard choice. Not your choice to vote yes, but your choice to have to vote yes on budgets that are having a devastating effect on your school districts. But you also know you have no other choice. You have no other choice as long as the tax cap that destroys public education stays in its current form. And I am telling you that NYSEC will join with others to figure out how to change that tax cap so it does not create the inequality and widen the gap that currently exists. So sisters and brothers, let me say this very clearly. You all know by listening and watching the bashing that there is bashing of unions, there are enemies of unions, and there are enemies of education. But at the end of the day, they are also the enemies of working families and the enemies of children. And so I'm going to say to all of you that these enemies will hear, and they're hearing it today, that we are not giving in we are not going away. We are not going to be moved. We are not going to be moved from fighting to reclaim the American dream for everyone. We are not going to be moved from rebuilding the middle class. We are not going to be moved from creating a pathway for the children we teach to reach the middle class and, and to reach the American dream. And most of all, I know, and all of your leaders know, that we will reach that goal through our work, through our ballot box, and through our solidarity. Because that solidarity is what I see. That solidarity is building democracy. Because when I look out and I say, what does democracy look like? Show me what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. God bless the union movement.